talking cars quick update hey i'm heading down in my 2021 wide body charger scat pack it's got about 35 3600 miles on it i bought it in march of 2021 and i'm gonna go down and get a oil change um a tire rotation um they're gonna fix uh, one of the spouts on the uh, windshield wiper fluid sprayer, whatever they call it, doesn't work on the left side, so you're going to fix that. And then I got one more update for you. What is that? What is that private pile? So as you all know, uh, the infamous, uh, you know, Hemi Tick, um, which I don't have, um, but now I call the infamous Hemi Click, which is the large rotors and the click that you get from the front wheel that so many other YouTubers have talked about. Mine started at around 500 miles. I think Jared started around the same and he got his uh, fixed at one of the local dealerships. They cleaned the face of the, of the rotor and the face of the wheel hub. I'll reference a, uh, I think it's a service bulletin, TSB, that is only good through 2020. Dodge has not updated for 2021, but um, I am gonna have them at least clean the surface of the wheel hub and get rid of the clicking. I'll reference the, the noise. Mine is um, more pronounced than most I've seen. Most of them are only on back up and turning the wheel. Mine is forward and back anytime the wheel is turned, really at any speed I can hear it if my windows are down. And it seems like it's getting more pronounced. Now, not to worry, everything I've read is it's uh, not detrimental to the wheel, it's more of a nuisance, doesn't affect performance, nor does it affect any you know wear and tear parts. There's nothing that's you know causing friction or, uh, or early wear on parts. So I'm optimistic about that. The real question is whether or not this dealership is gonna be able to fix the noise today, whether or not they're gonna inform me if there's a permanent fix, there is some something called a friction pad kit that the 2020s had, but nothing on the 2021s. Regardless, it's a little bit of a nuisance, but um, and all in all, it, it just doesn't detract from the driving experience because these things are beasts, right? The disappointing thing for me though, was I called around and spoke to what I thought were three or four, four large dealers. And I know I'm not speaking to the tech or the mechanic, but when I spoke to the service person, very few of them ever heard about this problem. Despite me saying this is a super common problem, it really is not if, it's when on these vehicles. And it, this is not the only vehicle that it's affected. I think the Corvette and some of the others that share these large um, slotted rotors. Uh, but I was disappointed that not, not any dealer was really like, oh yeah, we, we know this and uh, bring it right in, we'll fix it up. It didn't instill a lot of confidence. So there's two components to brand loyalty, right? One is the car buying experience and ownership, right? You gotta have a good experience with the vehicle. It can't be a you know piece of junk. You gotta love driving it. The second part, in my opinion, is the service. And I have been spoiled historically with, with my BMW. It's um, no nonsense. They usually give me a loaner. Sorry guys about the bumps here. I'm just gonna smooth out here in just a second. Um, and I did speak to this dealer, which is about an hour away, and they were kind of hinting that I might be there for half the day while they sort of diagnose the click. They have to go through their protocol. Um, but you know, those those dealerships really bend over backwards, understand, hey, you're driving from far away, can we give you a loaner car? How can we accommodate you? Makes a big difference because you, you, you feel like once the car is sold to you, then you just become a number, you know? I, and, I, and I don't like that, and I've seen that before where you're just, hey, they, they do everything to sell you the car, and then afterwards it's like, eh, wait in line. So I have asked when I buy a car, tell me about your service. Um, you know, how long are your waits? How many texts do you have? You know, what, what's, the, what's the policy on, on uh, getting a loaner if it, if it needs to be overnight? How, you know, how do you work with people? What's, the, what's your service rating? You know, ask about that, because that's, that's important. And um, for me, buying a car um, and, and having a dealership that's local it is important, but it's not a deal breaker. I'm used to driving an hour, you know, an hour for Valley BMW, uh, now an hour for, you know, my Dodge dealership, an hour for the Honda dealership, you know, et cetera. I don't mind that as long as the service is good. So I'll let you guys know, I'm gonna uh, 
close by saying I will start this video again in a, I don't know, it's going to be about 45 minutes when I get there. Um, maybe I'll do a little lot walk around, see what kind of inventory they have. I'm hoping to meet up with our, our sales guy that sold us both of our chargers, my brother and I, and uh, talk to him about, you know, Hellcat Red Eye Supply and if they know anything. And then I'll update you on, uh, hopefully my car will be fixed and ready to go. Um, thanks for tuning in, you guys. Uh, hang tight. All right, here we go. Leaving my car for service here. They said it's going to be about three hours, but I was going to go over, check out a few things here, including this sweet little RT, looks like. Let's see what they're selling this for. Pretty sick little 392 non wide body. It is a. 2018 and I don't see any price on here huh no price let's go check out the rest of the car Sick little Challenger here, 392. No pricing on this. I didn't see a sticker on the window. Other than that, you guys, this is pretty bleak. Camaro, there's a four series Beamer. I think they've got a couple of used, oh, there's a used Hellcat. Let's go check that out. So these are a couple of, that looks like maybe an SXT. These two are 392s, this one here and this one here. But here's what's interesting. No price on any of these cars. I, I don't know, I've never seen this before. Usually they've got a price on them and uh, they're purposely doing that to make you have to go in and talk to these sales guys and, and negotiate. But this is really bizarre. Even on the brand new cars, I'm not seeing window stickers with uh, pricing. This is kind of weird. Let me go check out these out over here. So look, no, no stickers. I don't know what the deal is. Hmm. Not even over here on any of these stickers on any of them on the window. Maybe they just arrived and they haven't put them on yet. That's kind of weird. I think that's kind of deceiving actually. All right, well, they said it's gonna be three hours for my car. So look at the joy of walking in there and hanging out in the waiting room a video on this one or actually included in the srt history this is a 2005 dodge ram srt 10 that has the viper motor in it uh, no price on this but i bet this is going for a good chunk of change as is the uh dodge viper here as well man how about that in your car collection i think this thing only has like 7,000 miles on it holy crud so guys here i am i'm all done um I'm a little disappointed and here's why they took it in they did the oil change and they rotated the tires and then they went to investigate the clicking and of course because they rotated the tires the clicking went away so went out showed him the video of the clicking rep tried to replicate it gone so I explained to him that that there's a reason for that has dishonored himself and dishonored the platoon it's gonna come back they really didn't do anything um it is what it is so maybe by the time 2022 rolls around they'll have a tsb and maybe at my next service if it happens again um, i'll take the tech to show him before they rotate the tires anyways happy with the service otherwise glad it went away i'm disappointed that there wasn't really a fix per se but uh all right i'm headed back so uh thanks for another video you guys this place is dope i actually saw the brand new 2022 wagoneer and uh i just left they had a bunch of sales guys in there and a bunch of people looking at it, it was about a hundred thousand dollars but that's a pretty cool vehicle it looks more like a, a tahoe or a yukon but completely loaded so i'm on my way back thanks for tuning in yeah you guys take care let us know if you have any comments uh or uh, other love to hear your feedback take care <laughs>